All right, guys, so here's an overview of problem number three. What is the range of the function f of x equals negative 5 minus 2 times x plus 3 squared? Hey, we're getting pretty uh, familiar with our calculator, so I would definitely put this into y equals to get a quick graph and a quick table. Uh, it asked me for the range. Every single one of these uh, options has a 5 or a negative 5. Uh, well, d has negative infinity to positive infinity. Well, as soon as I graph this, if I go to the graph, I see that this has a maximum. The maximum is at negative 3, negative 5. So if we're talking about range, we're talking about y values. So you should be able to tell that your maximum y value is going to be negative 5. Your minimum y value is going to be negative infinity. So remember, range is bottom to top. So I go from negative infinity to negative 5. If I look at my options, I have only one option that tells me from negative infinity to negative 5, and that is option C. Okay? B is misleading, all right? Maybe it's there to see if you forgot your negative sign. Um, A is misleading. Um, it is saying uh, that this function maybe you forgot this negative sign in front of the 2. Um, but the correct answer is C, again, because the uh, lowest y value is negative infinity. The largest y value is negative 5. Should have been a simple problem that you can just put into y equals, and you'd have it, okay?